Hi guys, Troy Mail here, and I've done a video today for one of the most awesome tunes ever. I'm sure you'll agree, When the War Is Over by Cold Chisel. I've already done the guitar solos for this. You can see on my channel I've done a video for that. But this is just the chord progression, which I know, strangely enough, there's no lesson on YouTube for it. Alright, so I've tried to be as accurate as I possibly can. Um, so take a look, let me know what you think, and keep tuning in. My goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers, uh, and I don't think I'm too far off. Um, so don't be afraid to share some of these videos. If there's someone you know or any of your friends might like to see it, share around. Otherwise, just uh, keep tuning in. All right? Thanks, guys. All right, so when the war is over, the very start of the song is an A chord. All right? All right, so it starts off with the intro or with the chorus. So the chords we have there are A, C sharp minor, D, and then we go from an, what's called an E suspended chord to an E major. So you play an E chord and just put your pinky on the second fret above the, uh, above the first finger and just go on and off, alright? I also, instead of playing the A there, I like to play it here on the fifth fret, alright? fifth. 6th and 7th. Another way of playing that is like this. Do the A there. C sharp minor. D. And then the E like this. Alright. E sus4 with the pinky on the 10th fret of the B string on and then off to a regular 7th fret E bar chord. Alright, now then after that we go into the verse. Alright, so the chords we've got are A, A major 7, alright, which looks like that, which is just basically the second fret note on the G taken down to the first, alright? So it's like so. Maybe I'll check a chord diagram up for that one. A, A major 7, 2, 3, 4, D for two bars. 1, 2, 3. Alright, so what we do with that D chord is we hold it for two bars. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. We actually come in with that E chord on the end of three. So we go two, three, four, one, two, three, and four end. All right. So it's two lines of that. So much older. And watch D, 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 A. Alright, so on that little run up, there's a couple of things I want to say because the bass is kind of directing, uh, assisting what the chords do. So um, from where it says you and I we used each other's shoulder. You and I we used each Three, four, B minor. Three, four, one, two. Three, four, D, E, D, E, A. Now, the reason I did it up here is because what the bass is doing is during that bit is this, where it says, how can I go home and not get blown away? The bass is going D, E, F sharp, A, back to D again, all right? So if you want to include that bass line in that part, which would make sense because it makes up the whole kind of harmony of the song. You would go D, E, as bar chords on the 5th and 7th fret. Then you'll do this shape here. You'll play the 7th fret on the 
D, G, and B strings, and then play the bass note of an F sharp with your third finger, like that. So that's a D over F sharp. And then after that, you go up to an E over G sharp, like that. Ninth fret over the D, G, and B strings. And then 12th fret with your third finger on the A string. So that whole section sounds like this. D, E, D over F sharp, E over G sharp, A. All right, I'll play that whole section. B minor. Still so young. I can't sing as high as Barnsey or Mossy, obviously. And D, E, D over F sharp, E over G sharp, A. Then we go into the first little uh, guitar chord break, all right? Which is just the same but, um, chords as the first part of the verse, which is A, A major seven, D, all right? So that but little guitar break, which incidentally I've done a video for already on YouTube, uh, uses those verse chords, all right? And also does the little run up, of D, E, D over F sharp, E over G sharp, A, all right? Okay, so that's basically, I've just basically taught you the intro and the verse. Uh, now we have the bridge, which is one of the greatest bridges in the history of bridges of songs, in my humble opinion. You and I had our sights set on something, so it starts on an F sharp minor. You and I had a at C sharp minor. All right, four beats on each. You and I had a sight set on something. D A. I had a plan C sharp D. So I'll do that again. I'll just try and hum the melody as best I can. It's way too high for me, but anyway. So F sharp minor. D. into a verse, all right? So again, on that little bridge section, F sharp minor, C sharp minor for bar, D, A. One bar on each, C sharp minor, D, E, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, then it repeats that again. So basically that little progression I just played does it twice during the uh, bridge. And that's basically uh, all the sections of the song, guys. Uh, we've got a verse after that, which I've already done. When the war is over, I've got to start again. Two, three, four, one, two. All right. And uh, at the end, we've got the chorus outro. one little section here is that little guitar outro that he does, that Mossy does where it's which I did in my other video incidentally. The chords under that are this little D, this little D to E run. Alright, there you go. 
Chords for War Is Over, a song that I never ever get sick of. What a great tune. I hope you enjoyed it.